127. See, if we get a biblical point of view, having children is a blessing. God tells us to be fruitful and multiply, and that's actually a blessing. But the world looks at that as like, I mean, do you guys like have to keep having kids because of your religion? Is that what's going on? You know, because we'll be out in public and people will see that we have a big family and they're like, what religion are you guys? You know, why? Because they must know that you must have some religion or you wouldn't be having all those kids, right? Because what person who just has the freedom to just do whatever they want is going to choose to live that lifestyle? Well, you know what? Let me just be real honest with you. Not me. Because I'm an idiot. Because I'm a fool. Because every natural man without the Lord Jesus Christ, without the Holy Spirit, without God in their life is a fool. I mean, in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Look, if you took the Holy Spirit out of the equation here, if you took the Lord and the Bible and his commands out of the equation and you're just left with Stephen Anderson, I'd be living a stupid life right now. I'd be living an idiotic life. I would have spent my teenage years in, in fornication. I would have spent my young adult years in stupidity and drunkenness and fornication. And then I probably would have got married and divorced a few times by now. I'd probably have tattoos. I'd probably be, you know, who knows what I'd be doing. It's cer I certainly wouldn't be married with nine children. And, and, and if you think I'm wrong, then parade for me all the non-religious people that have nine children in the United States right now. Anytime you see a big family, you pretty much can take it to the bank. These people are some kind of a Christian or they have some kind of a religion that's telling them to do that. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Because nobody's just going to choose that on their own. Nobody's just going to be like, hmm, I just want to have a ton of kids. You know, I mean, okay, maybe some people would, but then their spouse is probably going to be like, no way. <laughs> and, and, you know, sometimes it's the man, sometimes it's the woman, but, you know, it'd be pretty tough to find two worldly, unsafe people, two atheists who are just like, let's just, let's just, I mean, look, evolution's true, so let's just kick their butts evolutionally and just, and just, we're going to take over with the gene pool. Our DNA is taking over. And by the way, we're, I'm defeating every evolutionist. My DNA is, you know, is going forward, buddy. And you know what? You're going the way of the dodo bird. Bunch of atheists, bunch of evolutionists, they don't even know how to procreate. Looks like I'm the fittest, buddy. In a hundred years, your DNA is going to be a fossil, buddy. And I'm going to have thousands of descendants. <laughs> it's true, amen? But here's the thing. But look, and look, I want you to listen carefully. I want you to pay attention because this is an important point. No, I would not have chosen this lifestyle, but this is such a great life. Amen. Children are such a blessing. Amen. But you're not really smart enough to know that going in. But then once you have a big family, you love it. And, you know, you're going to love it when your kids grow up and they're respectful and they love you and they love the Lord and you can be proud of them. It's all, it, it all in the end is a blessing, but you're, you don't know that going in. I'm not smart enough. You're not smart enough. Look what the Bible says in, in Psalm 127, 3. It says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath this quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. So why is God telling you to be fruitful and multiply? Just because he wants you to just have no money and have a dirty house and just never get a quiet moment and just listen to noise all the time? No, no, no. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be blessed. He's trying to bless you. And you're going to be glad when you do it by faith. But you have to do it by faith. Look, somebody asked me when I was 15 years old, how many children do you want to have? And you know what I said? Zero. That's what I said. I'm just being honest. 
I said, I want to have zero. And I, I said, I don't want to have kids. Why? Because I was a selfish fool. Because I was a teenager. Because I didn't have the wisdom to understand the blessings of children. But, you know, I got married and I understood what the Bible said. I grew in maturity. I grew in, in knowledge and love for the Lord. And then I desired to have children. And then I desired to be fruitful and multiply. You know, and then I wanted to go for exponential growth. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, so the point is, you know, why stop at multiplication? But the, the, the point is that we don't know what's best for us sometimes. God knows better. His way is perfect. Let's not lean on our own understanding. Let's trust in the Lord. And some people get offended when you get up and preach hard against sin. You know, don't tell me how to live my life. Hey, just, we're just trying to bless you. Trying to bless you and turning you away from your iniquities. And here's the thing. If you walk out of here and disregard my preaching and you say, well, Pastor Anderson's not going to tell me what to do. Fine. Go do what you want. I'm not your Lord. I'm not your boss. I'm not your authority. Go out and do it. And you can find a church that will even let you worship the Lord without ever telling you anything against your sins. But you know what? You're not going to be blessed. You get blessed by turning away from your iniquities. Look at the next verse.